Hello and welcome to our live show. I am just so excited. I think this is about my second time that I am doing a live show. And I do pray that each and every one of you will take the time to call in from wherever you are. The number is 203-792-9673. Uh, I think 4101. Would someone please tell me what the correct number is for the callers to call in? So it is correct. Uh, the number is 203-792-4101. And I want to hear from you. We will be speaking, before I tell you what we'll be speaking about on this live show, we had planned to have some in-studio guests. However, they chickened out on me because everybody loves to enjoy the topic that we are going to talk about. As a matter of fact, not just the topic, but the action. And they are, I guess, for want of a better word, I think they're a bit embarrassed to talk about it in public. And what we are going to be speaking about in, on this live show, and I want to have uh, your input. We are going to be talking about great sex, the ages of 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond. So, again, I want to hear from you, and we just want to have a lively discussion. Uh, when I, I post the event on Facebook this morning, and one of my younger friends, um, I invited her, and she sent me back a message saying, what are you inviting me for? Do I look 60? So I replied and I said to her, no, Dana, you don't look 60. However, it is never too early to start to get the information. And this is what this is all about. This is not a, a, a show to talk about the sexual activity or the sexual indulgence. But this is a topic to talk about education and to move some of the myths that people have around the topic of sex. And I remember when I was um, younger, I used to think that 40-year-old was old people. And now I'm in my 60s and somebody asked me my age and I said, oh my God, let me calculate. Because I don't feel old and I'm hoping I don't act old. And of course, yes, your probably majority of you know I'm single and yes, I'm telling the world, I do not have an active sex life. However, that does not prevent me from talking about it and getting myself well-informed and well-educated so that when I'm blessed to get a husband, that we will be extremely happy and we'll be having a lot of fun. So there it goes. I'm depending on each and every one of you. The phone lines are open. Please call in 203 792 Four one zero one, and let us get into some en uh, engaging dialogue about the topic of sex. S E X. And as I prepared uh, for the show, when I realized that my in studio guests were not available to be on, I did some research and I found an article that uh, um, spoke about. Uh, tips for great sex in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and yes, beyond. So uh, while I'm waiting on the telephone to ring, I am going to be sharing uh, about what the author of this article had to say. Here you go. All right. <clears throat> This article is fresh, as a matter of fact. It was written on the 28th of August, 2014. And today is, I mean, March. March the 28th, 2014, not August. 
And today happens to be August the, the 6th, so it's really not, not old. A lot of time when you find research, they are years old, but this one is fresh. And um, it starts off by saying, should a woman expect to have great sex in her 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond? Absolutely. Physical intimacy can be exciting, fulfilling, and gloriously passionate, no matter what a woman's age. Here are tips for satisfying and fun sex during each unique phase of your life. All right, so before I get into these tips, I, I want to share a lot of people look at sex as a, a, a dirty thing and, and they don't realize how spiritual sex is. I, I know, and this is why I am never an advocate for multiple partners to each his own and those who choose to do that. <clears throat> it's entirely up to you. However, I am never an advocate for that. And the reason why I'm never an advocate for that is because I look on sex as a spiritual thing when two spirits get together in that union. However, if you look at it as just something to, to soothe an urge or something you think you're going to use as a, as a weapon to hold somebody, then you will keep going and going and sleeping with this person and sleeping with that person. But when you look at it as a spiritual connection and a union, then you understand the gloriousness about it. So here are some tips that um, the author gives. And remember, the phone number is 203 7924101 Great sex after 30 make time for play No matter how busy life gets my sexual needs are still a priority Many women settle into marriage and motherhood in their 30s which can easily disrupt their sexual mojo. But have no fear. Sex in your 30s can and should be amazing. Bring some vava vum back into the bedroom by introducing toys, games, vibrators and other treats you can enjoy alone with your partner one must have for every gal over 30s the hidden flower wireless silver bullet vibrator with multiple settings and a shape conducive to eternal and external enjoyment. It will leave you a wash of pleasure. I got to tell you something about this particular part. Years ago, I don't know why, but I always attract younger friends. So I remember years ago, it may be around about 10 years ago, some of my younger girlfriends decided uh, they were taking me for dinner. And I always ask when I'm going out to restaurants that I've never been before, I always ask what's the range of their, their uh, menu, what's the budget they're like. Well, this particular day, they said, don't worry, it's all on us. So I said, all right, then maybe all I need to do then is to contribute to the tip. So there we go. They picked me up. We, I parked at exit nine and they picked me up because... They said that the restaurant we were going was in Shelton, Connecticut. So there we go, and we go in, and the music was bumping, and everybody's happy, and we drove, and we drove. But then they turn on a private road, and I'm thinking, oh, man, this look like a residential area. This doesn't look like any commerce or anything here. I said, oh, they said, oh, no, we're just driving right here, and we're going to go around there and around there. Well... Around there ended up, I'm not going to call the lady's name, 
on her street in Sheldon. If you're listening to the show, you know who you are. And there were cars on both sides of the street, up on the banking and everything. And I said, I thought we were going to dinner. They said, yes, we're going to dinner. So <laughs> I walked through the door and there were little plates on the table with chocolate, but the chocolates were in the shape of penises. It's like some blue penis and some white penis. And they say, oh, you want to have a chocolate? And I'm thinking, no, I don't want that. I'm thinking, what's going on here? They say, oh, sit down. You're going to have fun. And I'm sitting down and I'm looking. I, I was naive. And I'm looking down. Then all of a sudden, someone came down and said, X will soon be here. She got caught up in traffic because she was traveling from Norwalk up to Shelton. And then maybe about 30 minutes later on, I saw a lady walk through the door with some plastic bins. And she put down and somebody said, you need help? And she said, yes. So they went outside and maybe five more plastic tubs came in. I didn't know what was in there. So they piled the tubs up. And then the lady introduced herself and she said what her name was. And she was a housewife of a very prominent person uh, where she was. Her husband worked at the bank. And she was a former child care provider up until she started this toy business. And she said she started it as a, a part-time career until it became full-time. She stopped the daycare business and she started doing these parties and she says what she was making two months in the childcare business, she now makes it in three days down in Greenwich. She says the Greenwich, Greenwich wives are known as the wives with the checkbook and they come to these parties during the day when their husbands are at work and she said they shop generously. So, of course, I sat poised and I said, oh, this sounds like it's going to be fun because this was my first time seeing I've been in any of this that was, this was happening. But I wasn't the oldest one there. There was a lady there who was in her 70s. And she, too, never seen anything like this, too. <laughs> so they went through all the different things. And I started to share this because the second thing the woman shared at... This show was this bullet, this, this silver bullet thing. And that's how come I remember there. And she d demonstrate and, and tell you how, how to, to use it and, and all of that. So I just wanted to share that to say there's so much in our world that will keep us happy. But you have to just be open and not be judgmental. So just to summarize that story, I enjoy myself. I had a lot of laughter. I left there educated and extremely comfortable with my body. Because prior to going to that thing, I don't know whether or not I would be this open to speak about it. But I, got, I went there, I was enlightened and ed educated and became, comfor um, became comfortable with who I am and my body. And the woman that I said was in her 70s, she was the first to go up because... When after the party and the lady is ready to do business, she takes you upstairs and it is done in private. Everybody leave with their purchase in a brown bag so you would never know what somebody got. So that lady was the first to go up and, and she came down with three brown bags and she looked at her niece who took her there and she called her niece by name and she said, thank you such and such for inviting me. She said, it's over 20 years, I didn't have any fun, but I'm sure going to have some tonight. So, <laughs> never say never. So, uh, tip number two here, great sex after 40. Before I read that, don't forget to call in. The number is 203-792-4101. And you can say your name when you call in. But I, I won't ask you to because I know a lot of you are embarrassed to call. So if you're waiting to think that 
Um, she's going to have me say my name. I won't say your name, so you are welcome to call in. All right? So t uh, the second tip is uh, sex after 40. Don't worry, be happy, and have yummy orgasms. I am learning to accept and love myself for exactly who I am, which means no more satisfying and exciting, which leads to more satisfying and exciting sex. I want to, I want to know a secret. No, let me repeat that. Want to know a secret? Sex gets even better after 40 because it's when women realize they no longer need to waste time um, proving themselves to others. It's also when women truly learn to love and accept their bodies, glorious imperfections and all. To have mind-blowing sex in your 40s. Nurture yourself and your relationship. Do yoga together. Enjoy a couple of weekends, a couple's weekend, and focus on what makes you glow from the inside out during sex. So again, it's, it's never too late for you to do that. And as I said to my, my girlfriend, that it's never too late, it's never too early to start to get the information you need. You can't wait until you're going to have company to try a recipe. Even if it's a new recipe, you need to try it first before you have company. So if there's something you need to tweak. And it's the same thing with your love life. Don't wait until you have a husband or a partner. Then you're going to say, oh, I'm going to read this and I'm going to read that. Because you won't get it together by then. So now is the time to start. So you all better thank me for raising this topic here. So I want to hear from you again. The number is 203 7924101 and we are here live in the Comcast studio here in Danbury we want to hear from you so call in right now so we can get the conversation going all right so i i was ending here about the uh, the yummy orgasm, which is the second one, and it says, during sex, use silicone-based lubrication, such as Uber, Uber Lube. It helps make foreplay and intercourse easy, slippery, and exciting. I was um, speaking with a friend of mine, um, and she's in her early 50s. And I was teasing her because she has lost so much weight. And I said, ooh, I bet your husband is very happy. And then he walked in the kitchen and, and he was talking. So I just looked at him and I said, oh, are you happy now she has lost so much weight? He says, oh, she has always made me happy. So I said, I know, I mean in the cookie area. So he laughs. <laughs> So after he left, she said she was giving me all the reasons why uh, she was no longer doing it because she was having so much dryness and so much pain and all of that. So I'm going to be sending this article to her so she can read it to find out about the um, lubricants that, uh, that she can use. And, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing all the different experiences that it appear that women go through. Our bodies go through so many different uh, changes. Other than men who they probably can't have an erection and everything like that. But there's so much that happens to a, a woman that she has so much challenges in her area, in her female reproductive organ area where 
you know, can take away a lot of the joy. However, but if we as women begin to talk with each other and love our bodies and, and not be ashamed of who we are, it will make a difference because somebody will know something that they want to share with you. So what has your insight been? What have you been experiencing? It doesn't matter what age you are. Call in and for this live show, the one thing I probably ask you to do is where you're calling from. But I want you to be comfortable in sharing what your experience is. And if you are an older woman, I want you to share from your heart, your authentic place, so you can help the younger women to embrace who they are and to treasure themselves and to realize that they are princesses on their way to becoming queens and that they need princes that will treat them as such. But unless they really love their bodies, they are not going to do that. So you have to treasure and honor your body. Your precious. It's a gift that you have. And if you do not love your body, then nobody else is going to respect you and love you. So you have to start. You got to start to treat yourself the way that you want others to treat you. Okay, remember, call in 203-792-4101. I mean, 203-792-4101. All right, the third tip is for sex after 40 you come first since menopause i feel sexy and empowered and more deliciously selfish in my love making many women find their 50s to be the most sexual, wonderful, and liberating. Since any worry about pregnancy is gone, with more independence, this decade can become a new era of sexual self-exploration and discovery. For great sex in your 50s, remember to do those Kijel exercise, Kijel exercises, I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly, it's K-E-G-E-L, Kijel exercises which strengthen and tone your beauty P-U-B-O-C-C-Y-G-E-U-S, or PC muscles. Strong PC muscles lead to better bladder control and help both men and women experience more pleasurable orgasm. I, my, I have a friend in New York, and... She was showing me uh, a, a gadget that you put between your legs and you squeeze it like that. I guess this is what they're talking about. And I had never, never seen that. She said she got it off the internet and, and she just used it to, to, tighten, to tighten the pubic area. So there are lots of things out there that can help uh, women. But I think because uh, most of us are very embarrassed about talking about sex and because of that you know in some relationships although I am not advocating for that but that's the reason why your partners go astray because you reach certain age you have the kids and you just give up and you think oh well why bother I have him already but you have to know that it's going to become a time when you're going to be an empty nester the children are going to be gone and you're going to want to still be in love with your spouse. So 
Do what you have to do to keep the fire burning. Know that your life is always going to be there for you to enjoy with each other. And whether you have children or not, you need to set some time aside for you. I'm so excited that I'm getting all this information now at this age. And although I'm single, these are lots of tool, tool, tools to put in my toolbox. So I'm going to be filing everything away. So for those of you who are going to be in need of something, all you need to do is call me up because I'm going to have some, some tools to give you. Again, call in, guys. Somebody call in. The number is six, uh, it's 203 7924101 So call in I know the people in the studio to have some questions and you all are embarrassed to ask in person so you can call in and see what the answer is going to be so let me hear from you guys out there in the studio in the community wherever you are I put it on Facebook, so I'm hoping that somebody will be calling from somewhere around the world and let us talk about that. The number is 203-792-4101. And I'm sure somebody's probably listening and thinking, when I, when I post it up, I, I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, oh, what can a single woman who doesn't have a, a spouse or partner have to say about sex but as I say this is a educational segment where each and every one of us can learn from each other so whatever you have to share if it is one nugget it is worth the call because we all have different experiences and insight and we can help somebody else who is not as comfortable talking about the subject as, as we are probably comfortable. I, um, I had invited uh, somebody that I know, and she said, oh, I, at the time I was saying sex over 60. And she said, oh, I'm not 60 yet, but my husband is, oh, and I know he's going to be excited about coming. Well, I waited a couple of weeks. I didn't get any confirmation. So I called her up and I said, what happened? She said, girl, I've been married to this man for 30 plus years. And I did not know he was embarrassed about talking about sex. <laughs> so there you go. You know, we live with people and we never, we think we know everything about them, but we don't always do. So as I say, sex a lot of times is a taboo, taboo subject. And especially for young, young girls, because most parents are not taking the time to discuss the matter of sex with them. And they go outside and they want to raise these questions to get answers. And what happened? Instead of them getting educated, they get involved. And by getting involved and they don't know exactly what to do, they end up pregnant at an early stage where if, um, if the parents would take the time to speak with these young people, they would be out in the community and they would be very educated so they would not have to try the act. Instead of a boy say, let me show you, she would say, fool, get away from me. You don't have to show me because I already know that when you show me, I'm going to end up with a baby, and I am not ready for that. So there's a little food for thought for you. Take the time to speak with your young people about the topic of sex. And be prepared to answer some questions. If you do not know the answers to what they ask you, tell them you don't know, but you will find out and you will tell them because... Just like I was able to find this information on the internet when I realized my in-studio panel wasn't turning up, you can find a lot of information on there to help you to educate your ch children as well. So go out there, 
Don't allow the little girls to go out and to practice. You take the time to teach them and answer any questions, although you might be embarrassed. Because if you, were my, if you are my age and older, your parents, you know, did not talk about that topic. Because children, I was told growing up, children should be seen and not heard. So, of course, mommy, uh, my mother and my father, they weren't talking about no sex with me. Luckily for me, I don't know whether it's the spirit of my ancestors guide me or not, I was not silly and I did not make any stupid mistake. But it, had it not been for the grace of God, I probably would have gone down the path where I was practicing, practicing. So all of the education I got, I acquired at an older age. So it is never too late to learn. Again, the number is... 203-792-4102. All right. So great sex after 60. Embrace joy. We snuggle, we laugh, and we don't take ourselves too seriously. The key to great sex in your 60s is finding joy, fulfillment, joy and fulfillment in your life, both in and out of Bordeaux. What makes you happy? Are you eating well, exercising? and managing stress properly, satisfying physical intimacy throughout the 60s and beyond occurs when you realize that your life has purpose and you are absolutely, wickedly, and delightfully sexy. For ultimate pleasure, use the woman on top position to get aroused and spend lots of time on foreplay and always remember the lube. Great sex at all age. You can subscribe to Bedroom Chemist. For passionate and satisfying sex, during every fabulous phase of your life, subscribe to Bedroom Chemist. Our carefully curated kits of pleasure made physically, make physical intimacy for licking feastily adventure because you deserve it. I should have written the website down. Unfortunately, I did not. So, but I think if you just Google this, you will see the website and you can uh, subscribe to the, they have a blog. And again, it is Bedroom Chemist. So, B-E-D-E-R-O-O-M-C-H-E-M-I-S-T. So you can subscribe to that and you'll be able to get uh, regular information on, on what they have there. I was in New York City yesterday on a coach bus tour. And for those of you who live in the Northeast and go to New York a lot, you know that there are many, many museums there in New York City. If there I don't think there's another place that have as many museums in New York. For everything you could ever imagine, there is a museum in New York for that. Well, I had no idea they had a sex museum not too far from the UN. Yesterday after we left the UN and went around the corner down on that street, I forgot which street it is, and the tour guide said to us, oh, I'm glad we came this way, because, so I'll show you all the sex museum. 
And I'm thinking she was kidding, but there it is. Nice green marble building. And sex museum is written on the outside. So there is lots of information for us to get. But we just need to be comfortable with ourselves in order to go out there and get it. So I want the phone to start ringing. We just have another 5, 10, 20, uh, 30, about 25 minutes remaining in the segment. But I hope somebody will be bold enough to call. Let's talk about some of the struggles that you are going through. Talking about sex or enjoying sex, whatever it is. I know for some people, it is a real struggle. I, you know, even in, in, in my business, I, I speak to a lot of women about different matters. And whatever it is that they are struggling with, always end up impacting their love life. Always. Because, you know... They say fake it till you make it, but you know, we women, we really can't fake it for long. No matter, we probably start, and in a few minutes, we got to go back to our real self. So we cannot be counterfeit for a long time. The real person emerges. So I, I want us to spend this time to talk about it, and I pray that somebody will call in so we can have some discussion about that. The number again is 203-792-4101. I, I tell you, um, I think it was last summer I, I was at my friend's um, picnic and uh, one of her male friends was there and this man I think is in his 80s and he has a 45 year old girlfriend. And he was happy because <laughs> his wife was sick. His wife had dementia for many years. And she had passed. And now he found this younger woman. Oh, and you could see, oh, the excitement is coming out every place. Because, oh, and he didn't hold anything back. He, so, he was telling us every little detail. I looked at him and I said, Boy, you should be happy I don't know this woman because I would sure tell her that you just took <laughs> all the business out. I said, you need to share, but don't talk about her name and where she work and all of that stuff. Don't be saying all those stuff because I say you won't be getting any anymore if you start share. But I tell you something. I was pleasantly surprised to see that at his age, he was really enjoying sex and he was proud to say he didn't have to order the little blue pills so i guess the time that he spent um taking care of his wife when she was sick i i guess maybe she was an angel that came back to revive him to help him to make somebody else happy so come on guys call 203-792-7410 I thought I heard the phone ringing in the control room, right? Okay. So, 642, uh, oh, you know, I'm, I keep saying 646 six because that's. Hello? Hello. Good My afternoon. Name is Martha, and I'm calling from Zambara. Hello, I'm, how are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you for taking the time to call in. I can't hear you who else. Yes, so, what's your take on the topic that we're talking about? Uh, I'm 70 uh, years young. Nice. And, uh, I want to know what can I do to spice up my love life. Oh, girl. Well, let me read. I, I want, I, um, I found a research online today when I realized that my, um, my, in studio panel wasn't coming. I found a um, a research online, and the title is "Tips for Great Sex in Your Thirties, Forties, Fifties, and Beyond." 
And here is what they say. I'm going to read the one about great sex after 60. It says, uh, great sex after 60, embrace joy. We snuggle, we laugh, and we don't take others, our, we don't take ourselves too seriously. The key to great sex in your 60s is finding joy and fulfillment in your life, both in and out of bo border, B-O-D-O-I-R. -O -O what makes, always focus on what makes you happy. Are you eating well? Are you exercising and managing stress properly? Are you uh, satisfying physical intimacy throughout the 60s and beyond occurs when you realize that your life has purpose and you are absolutely, wickedly, deliciously sexy. So I wanted to share that with you and at the beginning, we, um, well, I read something where they mentioned about um, getting toys. Do you know about the toys? I, I shared about um, some party we go to. In your area, do they have these parties where they are like Tupperware parties? But instead, the women, um, they are selling sex toys. Have you ever heard about those? Are you there? Yes. Ca caller, are you? Yes. Okay. You ever heard about them? Y yes. All right. So, what's your take on that? Yes. Maybe you need to buy a couple toys to to put some spice in the bedroom. <laughs> yes or no? You believe in the toys? Yes. So. Huh? <laughs> I guess so. Yes. So, what your hubby going to think? You think he'll be up for the challenge? I think so. Hey, is he home? Maybe you should put him on the phone. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you got to go shopping and give him some surprise. Yes. You know, you, could, uh, you can buy some strawberries and get some nice whipped cream and serve him dessert in the bedroom. <laughs> Sound good to me. Sound good to you, girlfriend. Hey, get busy. You know? You have to get some get some nice music, soft lights, and you know, put some spice in the life. Okay, I thank you for your information. All right, thank you so much. And if you have any other friends who want to call and share. We'll be more than happy, but, you know, thank you for calling in. I mean, age is just a number. You start to um, exercise and eat right and keep believing in yourself and love yourself because if you don't love yourself, then your honey, he's not going to be wanting to think that you're attractive. So you have to adorn yourself. Feel good, smell good, and, and just, you know, laugh a lot and have fun. Because when you are stressed out and you go in the bedroom, it's just going to spill over into your love life. So I honor you at your age of, of, um, of 70, 70 plus. So I just hope when I'm 70 plus, I, I'll yes. be sharing with you that I have a husband. I'm having me a lot of fun. Okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Okay, so at least we got one lady to call in. Isn't that wonderful? She said, I, I, and I know she'll try to and give him some surprise. She, I guess he's one of the shy men too. He's not going to come on to talk. She said, oh, no, she's not putting him on the phone. But she said, I guess so. So I, um, I, I have another friend and... You know, on the, the topic of sex that we, we're talking about, 
is that although sex is of vital importance in the relationship, and at the top of the hour, I mentioned about it being a, a, a spiritual thing. It's not just an action for me. And this is why I don't get involved in casual sex and, and, and all of that. I've been single for a long time and, you know, I'm celibate for a long time and I'm proud of it. People who decide to live differently, it's up to them. I respect them and love them in spite of But This is just my choice to be that way. And I want to share that no matter what your age, your relationship should not solely depend on sex. It is important and it is essential to the relationship, but it should not depend solely on it. And I, I brought this up to share with you. There's, there's a friend of mine who's, um, she is in her late, she's close to her 80s now. And her husband has been impotent for many, many years. And you look at them, you would never know that there is no intercourse happening in their marriage. And they travel a lot, they love each other, and they're such a loving couple. And when she shared that with me confidentially, I was surprised. And then again, I was surprised but not taken back because their relationship is based on authentic love. They love each other, so no matter what, they still love each other, they still enjoy each other company, they communicate effectively, they laugh together. And that's why it's important. But when your relationship is based solely on sex, and when there is no more sex, then the next person move on to the next person and they keep going on. So make sure that although it is an important part, it is not the only part because when anything happens, it could be illness or something. We never know what um, prevents us uh, from getting, um, getting into sexual activities. We never know what will prevent us from doing that. And this is why it is so important to make sure the relationship has other, other important components to it other than that. So we still have, um, it looks like we have run about approximately 15 minutes remaining. The number is 203-792-4101. So my miscalculation, we only have 10 minutes remaining. So call in, I want to hear from you. It would be nice, wouldn't it be nice, Ellen, if we could hear a man's voice, right? We would love to hear what men say. Women always, women do everything. Women turn up at the parent-teacher's meeting. They go to the teacher's conference. They call up the live show about sex. Always the women. The women always do everything. Where are the men? Let me hear from you guys. If it's even one or two of you, save your brother's back. So call in. 203-792-4101. Let me hear a man's take on this topic. Sexual tips. Great tips between the ages of 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond. You know, I was very excited when the lady said she was 70-something. And she wants to know what to do to spice up her sex life. Ain't that good? So it simply means that she's having some. She just wants to put a little more excitement in that. And I guess we probably need to do a follow-up show because she might be calling to tell us some of the things that happen when she, do, and when she um, practice some of the things that, that we share here. So, again, I'm waiting to hear from you guys. I hope we'll have uh, more than one person calling. Again, I want to remind people the number is 203-792-4101. So, I can share with you what I am eating that makes me feel good. I have high energy. I eat majority whole foods now. 
and bulk of my meals are raw. And I am sharing this to tell you that when you increase your strength in one area, I'm sure it spills over. And as I say, because I'm celibate, I cannot share about what that is. I can just tell you about other health aspects of my life. So I'm eating, I eat a lot of kale. I tell you, I have just found such a love for kale. I think it was like three summers ago that I started eating a lot of kale and I used to throw the stems away. But now I use the stem in my bean salad. I started uh, about a month ago doing three shots of fresh ginger juice every day. I juice it fresh and I take a shot glass. I take three of those. And I am just at such peak energy. I feel good. I'm not lethargic. I'm not tired. So I was telling my friend Trish this weekend, we were talking, I said, girl, anybody marry me, he's going to be in heaven because he's just going to be getting everything so good. So uh, I'm just preparing for when Mr. Uh, Mr. Wright comes. I'm not sitting around waiting on him to turn up to start treating myself. He's just going to be an addition to who I am. He's not going to complete me in any way, but he's going to be adding, adding to my life, and together we are going to be enjoying uh, ourselves. So I'm sharing that to say, you know, regardless of what age, you, you hear from what the people in this article share. It doesn't matter what age you are. You are entitled to enjoy great sex. However, it is up to you. If you are not going to enjoy it, it's up to you. However, if you have a partner, they deserve to enjoy it too. And open up the communication because you're going to find out that once you start communicating, it is going to make things easier for you. I, I was looking at Steve Harvey's show the other day. And one of the things, there was a couple on there, and they did not have a bedroom door. So the kids keep barging in and out, in and out, in and out. They have like a, a drape, a make-believe sheet hanging over something. So Steve asked him, so why don't you have a bedroom door? And he had a whole lot of reasons. So of course, Steve sent him home with a, a bedroom door. So I know his wife is very happy because there's no privacy because... She says that <clears throat> every time they would like get in the mood, the next thing is fear that the children are going to come in. But if you lock your door, ain't nobody coming in unless they break the door down. And a lot of times um, people have children and then they, they, they put themselves in prison where they don't have a personal life. Everything is around the kids. But as I had said at the top of the hour, we have to know that the kids grow and leave home. And when they leave home and we become empty nesters, we have to know that we still have to live our lives. So we still have a few minutes remaining, a little less than uh, 10 minutes we have remaining. I pray somebody will pick the phone up and call and to get your question. Oops, I'm not reading my time right. We have five minutes remaining. So uh, I just pray that when we do a follow-up segment, we will have studio audience who will ask questions, and we will also have uh, a panel of both men and women of different ages where we can have a very energetic, high-energy dialogue and conversation about the topic of sex. So, <clears throat> again, you can still call in, but I want to reach out to you and ask you to connect with me on social media. I'm at Twitter. Twitter.com. I am also Daf Dynamic Daphne on Twitter.com. On Facebook.com, I am forward slash da Dynamic Daphne. On LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Instagram, I am Daphne Clark Hudson. And you can get some free gifts by visiting my website, Daphne Clark Hudson Empowers.com. And you can get some free gifts there. And uh, listen to my radio show. I'm on the internet. And we are on live at least twice a week. It's also called a new day. Okay. Hello. Yeah. 
Good afternoon. How can I help you? Um, I'm listening to this lady. You know, I have prostate problem. Yes. Prostate? Uh-huh. What good for that? I, I think you need to talk to your doctor about that. Huh? I think you need to see a urologist. The, the doctor that looks after prostate issues is, call, is called a urologist. I, I am not a physician. But I think, uh, are you saying that because you have the prostate issue, it's impeding your sex life? Hello? Yes. Is the, um, is the, is the, the prostate impeding your sex life? Yes. Okay. I think you should ask your regular doctor to send you to see a urologist. The urologist will do a test and he will give you some treatment for there. that. I go there, but like I get up five or six times to go to the bathroom and I feel pain. Yeah. You know? Well, I, uh, you know, I'm just talking about the sex. I, I know the urologist because I used to work as a nurse too. And sometimes what they used to do, they used to insert... Um, a probe. They used to put a probe in the in the patient's penis to to let it widen up so they could pass their urine. So you need to let your urologist know how much pain you are having, or maybe see an alternative doctor. But you really need to go into the care because you're not supposed to be having all that pain. Well, so I have a building got some kind of hard medicine you can. Huh? Sometimes I have hard medicine that you can take to help you. Yeah, that's why I said maybe you should see a, a urologist. Where do you live? Are you in the Danbury area? Huh? No, I'm from Belize. Oh, you're from Belize. Listen, go to a health food store and talk to the herbalist there and they will be able to tell you. Okay? Huh? Go to a health food store in Belize. Health food store? Yes, in Belize, and um, they'll be able to help you. Uh, uh -huh. we, are, we are out of time, but I want to thank you for calling all the way from Belize, okay? Okay, then. All right, my brother. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh the, oh, the blessing of social media, that he took the time from Belize to call here, and um, I pray that he will... Um, he will be able to go. Love you guys. I will see you then. I hope you had enough fun like I did. So I'll see you next time. So long. It's Dynamic Daphne saying stay tuned.